Hello Raptors, this is intro to riding. We're going to talk about the goalie ride. Okay, so the main objective of the goalie ride is to lock off every player on the field and force the goalie to either take the ball over the 50, where we can hopefully strip him of the ball or force him to make a bad shot or a bad pass where we get the ball and get a fast break on him, hopefully shooting on an empty net, or at least shooting on a goalie who's tired. The other thing we want, too, is to try to force a failure to advance. Uh, a lot of the times when the goalie's bringing up the ball, he's trying to bait the riders to come get him, and so he's taking his time, slowly looking for his options. So we're using time against him. We're going to use this ride whenever the goalie has the ball. Uh, we might do this when off of a shot. We might do this off of a bring an inbound, an inbound play. So if uh, there's a, a shot goes wide and the goalie picks up the ball and brings it back in, we might run this ride. Uh, a lot of different situations that depend on the goalie. Um, if he's a strong passer, if he's fast, a lot of different factors. So we can see here the goalie is going to bring up the ball. And the defenders are going to stay with him. And it's very, very important that every rider does not lose track of his man. We need to stick on him at all times so that goalie can't make that pass while he's coming up like that. All right. We're going to see the attack drop down, try to create space. All right, so here is where it gets tricky. When the goalie crosses the 50, we want to pick him up. Uh, no point in running this ride and just letting him score. So the way we're going to do that is by sending our midfielder who's covering the midi who's going to stay behind the 50. So every time a defender or a goalie crosses the 50, a midi has to stay back uh, so that they're, the other team's not off sides. So when you hear, if you're covering that midi who's calling midi back, that signifies to you that you've got to pick up the goalie. Uh, real simple. You have to pick him up. So it's going to look something like this. Just like that. Nice and simple. In full speed. Like that. Simple. It's important that you read and know that your player is the one calling MIDI back. So what do we do in a situation that isn't so simple as having the MIDI right next to the goalie? So typically the MIDI on the farthest side will call MIDI back. So in this case, the MIDI being guarded by rider number six. Just like that, he's going to be calling Mitty back. Well, same thing. We don't want we don't want the two middies in the center to drop down and receive an easy pass from the keeper. Completely wastes our ride. So what we're going to do when you see that and you know you're far away, we see the goalie running away trying to find that open space. Obviously, rider number six can't just run straight to the goalie. He's going to get he's going to get beat real easy. So what we're going to do first, we want defender six to drop down, just drop down to the crease. You're going to drop down to the crease. You're going to pick up the goalie where he is. All right. And after you drop to the crease, you find the goalie wherever he he is at that point, and then you shut him down. And that's a goalie ride. So, a couple exercises for you. Get it done.